All right, this review is about my Glock 22 Gen 4. Just to show people who don't have a Glock, the ones that buy a Glock, see what they're gonna get. All right, so I don't have, haven't seen my Glock in this color too much, as far as reviews on YouTube or at any of the stores, but this is the full size. Comes with three back straps. I have small hands, so I mean, fits pretty good to be honest. I know there's people with bigger hands. Might want to consider one of the other straps here, but I'm good. If it's new, if it comes it comes with, uh, I believe, three magazines. Since I got it pre-owned, it comes with it came with two. And of course, I safety checked the gun before I started filming, just so I can show you empty chamber but yeah let's see here there we go back when I got it uh, it was actually in really good condition you can find these still gen 4 for 400 to 450 even 500, it just depends. They have like a, a lot of variants now. But when I got it about a year, year and a half ago, it's 450. Got a good deal on it. Uh, let's see, so you can see the color up close. I think this is like one of the best, I think the best color to be honest, that they came out with. Got a rough, got a rough uh, texture here on the back, back strap on the side too and the front finger grooves the standard uh, mag release is kind of uh, it's all right i guess uh, i can understand why people get the aftermarket ones the extended kind of hard and then let's see here got the glock engraving here the 22 gen 4 it's in 40 smith and wesson Pretty good caliber. It doesn't kick back, kick too hard. I think it's a decent amount. If you ever shot a nine millimeter or a 45, this is perfectly in the middle. And then, pretty good sight. These look way better with the light attachment, which I do have actually, have it right here. here putting it on there you go so that's how, how it looks with the light attachment looks pretty good I don't know you want to you may want to consider buying a Glock because it's easy to buy parts with these guns should ever something go wrong with it there's a, a big market for them and you can find these anywhere too I know there's a Gen 5 out. I, in my honest opinion, the, the the differences between the Glock 4 and 5 are not that, not too much. I mean, this one I think is the, a very good one. The Gen 3, I mean, I don't think there's that much difference either. It's just, I believe uh, the grip is the thing that the Gen 4 and the Gen 3, the, the grip is what makes the difference. The Gen 3 doesn't have this uh, textured grip and it looks plain, but with this Gen 4, what they did, they provided this textured grip and then they uh, made the back straps available. You know, and that's why I have these here. They also comes with this to load your magazines. But yeah, I think if you're wanting to get a a Glock, I think you should either get a Glock 22 or a, a Glock 17. The capacity on this is 15. I know in the 9mm it's uh, 17. But, uh, yeah. I think uh, you sh everybody should start with a Glock. Nice trigger. I think I've shot about a thousand rounds myself on this one. I don't think the owner previously shot it a lot because it looked brand new. Like, and that's the reason why I got it too. 
I don't think I'd get a beat up Glock. Maybe if it was 350, and I've seen some go for 350, they, they look beat up, and I think that's why they price them so low. But like I said, even if you get a beat up Glock, you can always buy the, the slide. You can even buy the, uh, the barrel. Like I said, there's a big market for this for this gun. And me having the Glock 22 shoots a 40, I think I would go with this one anyways because you can the barrels interchangeable to the nine millimeter. And then nine these days, the ammo very cheap for the nine millimeter, but for the 40 now it's getting hard to find. So I might have to buy uh that that barrel, that conversion barrel for the nine millimeter. And I'd taken this gun camping, I kind of beat it up or, you know, carelessly, but still good condition. And it's easy to take down. So this is how you would take it down. For people who don't know, you just slide this back about an inch and then you would slide this down right here with both fingers on the other opposite side and you just let the slide go you hold this to press down and just let it go and then you squeeze the trigger and you see how it kind of is now leaning forward all you need to do now is slide, slide it off there you go so as you can see it's kind of dirty it's still at least lubricated um, from what I know what I heard other reviewers it's more important to keep it lubricated because it's metal parts rubbing against metal uh, I mean obviously it's better to have them all cleaned at all times but it, I think it's more important to have it lubricated I've been meaning to do so but this is what it looks like really light too polymer Hard. Take this off. Yeah. So overall, it's in good condition for used. I think it's hard to beat this up, to be honest with you. And then if you take a look at the barrel on the inside of it, dual spring. This came new with the Gen 4. Gen 3, it's only a single spring. This is two. I think uh, it's supposed to, this is supposed to help with the recoil. And see how it's a little dirty in here. But they're easy to clean. Very easy to clean. So let's take a barrel here. Yeah, that's the review, man. That's for people who like looking at guns. It's easy to put back to just align it and you can see how it's loose so all you need to do once it's on it's loose you know slide the slide it back and then you see how it's not loose anymore that's when you'll know so I always slide it back several times just to make sure and you're good to go. And that is it. I think this is a, a good buy. I think this is my third Glock. I had other Glocks before. I had a Glock 26, 27, sold them. Uh, I might get the 26 again. I just had, I was just choosing, just not decisive with guns and just sell them. But this one I'm gonna keep for sure. Best color I've, I've seen so far. But um, yeah, for someone looking for a gun, a starter gun, and worried about accuracy and recoil, I think you should get this. It's a, the nine millimeter, you can, you can hardly feel the recoil. It's uh, very accurate. This one, I mean, I kind of like the kick to it. It feel, you know, it makes me feel like I'm shooting a, you know, pretty powerful gun or caliber, I should say. I like the recoil on guns. And as far as aiming, I mean, the accuracy, 
in managing the recoil. Like I said, it's uh, it's a good caliber. Nowadays, you just gotta worry about finding the ammo. I go to Cabela's and Sportsman's Warehouse all the time. Hard to find. But yeah, I think you get a lot, a lot of bang for your buck. Here. So thanks for watching. Please check them out. Check out my other videos. Um, I'm gonna start a collection now. I have other gun reviews that I have, that I'll post. But please subscribe, like. Thank you much. Until next time.